Our plan for the production of pharmaceutical powders in Krasnodar has been operating in the pharmaceutical market for more than 10 years. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP for production, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions, and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets in plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. Last year our enterprise started producing vitamins in capsules. We planned to fill 80 milliliters white plastic bottles with capsules. This procedure required the purchase of the following equipment, an automatic machine for filling, and subsequent screwing with plastic caps, a labeling machine. Cap sealing is a technological process of sealing pharmaceutical products after they are placed in individual packaging. Since I had already chosen many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in the selection and remained contacts of some reliable manufacturers of machinery. I started contacting the manufacturers by telephone and asked whether they could produce a machine for filling bottles. My main criteria were that the machine had to have a throughput of at least 2,000 bottles per hour. It had to be an automatically controlled machine. The bottles had to be membrane welded in addition to the screwing operation and a silica gel sachet had to be placed in each bottle. At first I contacted a company from Germany which offered me automatic filling and screwing equipment, but they specified that the whole process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment, was not included in the price. The delivery could have been delayed and I declined. Then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not manufacture this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture the machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait that long. I had no luck finding a manufacturer for the bottle filling machine, so I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another version of the machine. I searched on the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience with a Chinese intermediary supplying equipment when they brought us a line for packaging powder, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online, I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. Three days later I got 10 variants of different machines for filling plastic bottles from them and an offer to make a choice by myself. I realized that they did not have a professional approach and they would not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third option of a middleman from Moscow turned out to be a good one for me. The manager, a man, talked to me like a professional. He asked specific questions about the desired capacity of the machine, the size of the bottle, told me about the terms of delivery. I told him I also wanted to find a labeling machine for these bottles. During the consultation stage he suggested a line for filling and screwing plastic bottles, which I was able to quickly negotiate with the company management. Within a week we signed a contract for the equipment. A month after the contract was signed, we received the machine for filling bottles. The manager provided the manufacturer's warranty, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We assembled the machine and trained the workers who would be assigned to the machine in a week. The equipment was made of quality stainless steel. The white plastic bottles came to the line from a storage bin. The bottles came in dense streams for dispensing. Photocells mounted on the conveyor belt detected the presence of the bottle. Plastic caps were screwed on with the help of rotating heads. The last step was labeling the bottles with self-adhesive labels. The equipment is automated. High-tech in the working area is covered by plastic shields. I was satisfied with the line for filling and screwing bottles offered and supplied by a specialist from Moscow. The competent advice has saved me time and helped me to avoid mistakes I might have made had I made the choice myself. It is hard to find professionals in the equipment supply business. I am very glad that in the end, I was lucky to meet such a person.